two Chithuis in the same place? <laughs> Who's the designated yeah. survivor? <laughs> Evan? <laughs> That's right. Well, we thought we would talk a little bit about comfort today. Mm. You know, in America, there are 90% of the houses have a hot air heating and cooling system. That's a lot. And seven out of 10 of those people are pretty unhappy. Oof. Uncomfortable. They're nice job, out, guys. Out, Aren't you guys with salt? <laughs> Good batting average. <laughs> so it starts with the beginning. You know, you've got some sort of furnace or air conditioner. You push out the air, and you start with a load calculation. You figure out what size main trunk you need to go through the building. Okay. And that's based on the hottest day or the coldest day of the year. And you start with that fan coming out through the trunk. Then each branch, each room has a load that you would do, a calculation. So proper manual J, right, a load calculation, and a proper manual D, which is the duct distribution. Whatever that is. Yeah, what, what, what it really means is the great room gets more air right. and the little bedroom that's gets right. less air. Right. True. Right. So that's in the perfect world. People would say, oh, this room, this little bathroom needs a four inch. This one, this one needs a six inch. But what most people do, most HVAC installers, they use a six inch round and they'll go out to individual spaces. Now, when you do that, you have to fight physics. So whether or not it's water or air, it'll always take the path of least resistance. Okay. So if this represents the main trunk and this represents all those six inch branches, just pour that water in, Ross. Sure. The point here is that all those are equal? Right. So now you see most of the water comes out through the first oh. port and very little goes to the far end. So they're this all equal, but they're not performing equally. Correct. This would get more and this would get less. And if this was all the way to the end of the house or going to the family room, you're going to have not enough. And, and air works yeah. the same way as the water Absolutely. that I just saw? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So now, what you're trying to do then is to try and change the, the duct size by, by using some sort of balancing point. So here's, in this example, we have these valves. So this is wide open here, less so here, and it gets closed off more and more as we work backwards. And look at the results. And what am I hoping? Am I hoping that everything's going to come out balanced here? Everything is coming out okay. balanced. Check that out. Right. So that's what you're trying to get. Thank you. Okay, so now. So if you didn't install different sized ducts at the beginning, this is how you would sort of you need change some way to the balance size. It. So the, the, some homeowners, the extent of what they've got for adjustability is something like this, which is the register itself. In the back, it has these blade dampers, and you close it off, and it doesn't really lock. And every time you vacuum, you're going to change it. And every time you change these, you're going to, if you open this one more, it's going to change the airflow through all the other ones because it's interrelational. Mm -hmm. So most standard duct systems will have this, a chintzy sort of metal blade that sits right inside here. You can see the damper right here. There's a thumb screw mm. and you can open it or close it right here. So you attempt to adjust it as best you can and then you get it into the place you want it to be and then you close it off but it doesn't always stay there and it's really imprecise. It's not precise enough. And so is this something you're doing when you install the system to begin with? Mm -hmm. This is your way of saying, right. I want this to be a four inch or an eight inch or a six inch right. ductwork right yeah. there? To sort of attempt to change the duct size. But clearly it's not working because you're telling me that 70% of homeowners <laughs> are not satisfied. I shouldn't admit that. Yes, no, there's a better way to do it. So there are a bunch of products out on the market today that are far superior to what you got there. Uh, this is the iris damper, okay? So what you're effectively doing, this is a six inch round, mm -hmm. but what you're doing is you're adjusting the lens. You see that? Oh my gosh. So I can make it, and you know, you know, we're adjusting the actual opening and so we can get targeted airflow. We can get the right amount of the airflow to every single room. And then By once you that. get it, you lock it in. That's right. Lock that in place and it's gonna be really quiet as far as getting that airflow to the room. They also have these pressure ports right here so you can hook up your manometer. And by noting the pressure on the inlet and outlet side, you can make the proper adjustment to the damper so you get the right amount of airflow. Wait, wait, I just want to make sure I'm clear. This is something that if, you, if you've got duct work, you, you think you've got access to it, basement or attic, mm -hmm. I cut into it and I add this to that system? That's right. Yeah. So That's this right. is a retrofit solution. Retrofit to replace those. Yeah. Wow, check that out. That's so right. a little two inch. And it inch. runs perpendicular to the airflow so that it's quiet and it's locking in place. It's not going to have that waffle with all that turbulence. Yeah. And it works with manometer. Yeah. <laughs> manometer, that's right. <laughs> so uh, where you go from there is one of these. So this is an automatic volume damper. So what it does is you set the airflow that you want with this set screw. So you can adjust the airflow that you want. Mm. But the key thing here is that it's got a spring. So it's actually adjusting itself automatically based on the static pressure of the fan. So it's going to deliver the right amount of air, even if the pressure of the fan changes. It feels the amount of air inside the duct. And again, this is a retrofit. Right. So if I have access to this, right. I can put that on there. 
right. and that's so now I can start to make the houses. So typically, those that's blades right. are right down here at the main trunk, so they're easy to get to, but not always. Right. So in inaccessible locations, right? I was actually just on a job site last week where a homeowner complained about one airflow. Of his, one of his. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> right. Going in to fix after the fact, but they called and they said we have we don't have enough uh, airflow coming out of our registers. So we went, we camera snaked, and what did we see? We saw this. And the damper was completely closed. Wait, so you were in the wall, you were in a ceiling with a ceiling. camera? Yep, inaccessible, so cathedral ceiling, yeah. no access, C camera snaked up through a register like this Problem. to take a look. Yeah. So what do you do in that situation? So both of these wouldn't actually work in that, in that um, aspect. So what we ended up doing is we cut a hole in the actual ceiling and we replaced it with these, okay? So this is a cable operated damper. So same idea, you've got this fin here that can open and close. That's right, and then the cable is run to behind the actual register. So this sits up in the ceiling, in the yep. run, that There's cable goes down? Register. There, so when you pull the register down, you can get access to here, and what you can effectively do is make your damper adjustments. So I can make it open yeah. or close yeah. just by turning that. Funny boy, look yeah. at that. Right? So you cool. always have access to wherever the cable goes. That's right. And you can get a 10 foot, right. 20 foot, five foot? Whatever cable yeah. length you need, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, the good news is that by my calculation, 70% of 300, you got 210 right. million customers <laughs> waiting for you to show up. A lot of work to do. We got a lot of, get a lot of people in balance. You need a third Chathui. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.